Hey guys and girls, it's Blackjack with 396 Guitars. Um, <laughs> we're up to our neck in it today. Um, we've got a hollow body guitar here that we have all the guts pulled out of. Customer wants to take out the pickups that are in it, which are humbuckers, um, nondescript humbuckers. Uh, and he wants to put in deathbuckers. Let's get to work. So what we have is... Basically, a hollow body. Uh, it's an Ibanez. Um, it's an AF75 and a bunch of other letters and numbers after. But that's uh, neither here nor there. It had, it has humbuckers in it, neck and bridge. It's wired just like a basically a Les Paul. It's got a three-way switch. Uh, two volumes, two uh, tomes. He had a guitar that we took these out of. And that's what we're going to put in. Don't ask me why. Um, not 100% sure how to... These are two pole pickups. They're really basic and easy. And it make, made life easy um, decades ago. But everything comes with... Uh, uh, an, an ability to split coils. Now these these lace um, death buckers, they're called. They're not really. You can't split them. There there there's no windings. Um, there's a transformer, and everything is aluminum with um, uh, magnets in it. Uh, I, I've learned quite a bit about them, more than I wanted to ever know. Um, they're lightweight, they're, but they're, they're supposed to be a, a pretty decent sound and pickup. They call them death buckers um, because I guess they're a lot, of, a lot of guys in heavy metal use them. Um, they're, I've measured it, and we're going to do that here on camera um, to try to figure out which way to wire it into the existing uh, two-volume, two-tone configuration that we have. Um, as I said, you know, uh, when you get a humbucker that's got four or five leads coming out of it, it's so that you can do some trick wiring, split coils and such. Um, you can't really split coils in this because it doesn't have coils. There's no big wrappings in there. All it has is uh, yeah, one wire that goes around in aluminum, and there's a couple of uh, ceramic magnets. Um but it, what it does have is a transformer that if you wanted to do a split coil type of thing, all it does is cut your ohms uh, resistance in half. So knowing that, I decided to, I, I have to figure out, you know, which way to go. We have an orange, a green, a solid white, and a white with a black stripe. So... Checking the ohms resistance, if I check the black, uh, white with black stripe and then touch the orange, I get, where are we? come on, stop touching there, and put those two together just for demonstration purposes. I get 5.16, and these are supposed to be rated at 5 ohms resistance. doesn't seem very high, but because of the configuration of them. Um, <clears throat> if you touch the, that's the black with white stripe, or white with black stripe and orange. Um, I know that the green is a ground because right there, it's there's a green wire grounded to the inside. Um, if, you, if you go to, the only one that I can get another reaction out of is the white with black stripe and touch the white solid, and you get 2.54, which is, yeah, it's half of, exactly half of it. So it, all, all the, the green and the solid white are to, the green would be the ground for that circuit to split the coil or cut the ohm's resistance to give you the functionality of that. So... 
These two guys are going to get wired together, the white, solid white, and the green. And the orange is going to be our ground, and the white with black stripe is going to go to our volume pot. Um, that being said, it's an experiment. I could be wrong. Um, I did a little bit of research, and everybody said to use the solid white to the volume pot and put the green and the white with black stripe together, but that is not what I'm seeing. I've tried it in every different configuration. And if you're going 5 ohms, which is 5.14 ohms resistance hole, and the other way is cut it in half, which would be the, you know, to try to make it a coil splitter. Yeah, this is the way it has to be. So don't believe everything you see on the internet, that's for certain. Um, you don't need me to go on a rant about that. Um, some ugly stuff here. Uh, with a hollow body, it's an added joy to do wiring, even for a simple pickup swap. That take, you know, two post humbuckers out. Um, he says these pickups suck. I don't know. I'm not a guitar player. I'm a bass player, but uh, I, I haven't checked the output of these. I don't really care. Um, he said, go ahead and put these in. So that's what we're going to try to do. Um, <clears throat> I did not bore you with the gory details of undoing a hollow body, taking all the electronics out, and that's what you have to do. And then tape everything down so it doesn't bang around because, yeah, you're going to be working on it for a little while. Um, the only thing that I left connected was the ground wire that goes to the back of the tailpiece. Um, not fun, uh, but I'm going to get the solder iron. I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to get the solder iron. Um, we've got the, the bridge pickup, the neck pickup green and red. It's pretty basic stuff. It's wired very similarly to a, what I would say, a Les Paul. Let's just use that as an example. Um, we then are going to attempt to mock wire it and make sure we're getting sound and then go from there. So stand by while I get my solder iron going. So we have a testing circuit going on here. I put in the uh, death bucker tone working well volume I'm suspecting this pot is a problem but it's a 500k so you roll off of it doesn't take much you roll off and you lose almost everything They really only work well in the 10 to 7 range. Um, but it's working. Um, I also am suspecting we're getting some wonkiness in the output jack. But everything's working in that circuit. And that's just the bridge pickup. And that's the middle. That's just itself. Um, so when you're in the middle, it's going to have that roll off effect. Um, it, it's tone bleed. So everything's working. I'm going to call that one good. Um, shut the amp off and unplug. I am not going to put this whole thing back together without changing out this output jack. I just, I just everything that you have to go through in a hollow body to switch out electronics like this that we're doing um, to put it all back together and have that go sour on you. Yeah, you could change just that afterwards. Um, I know we're having some grounding issues too because that's nothing's bolted into the guitar. The only ground is one little black wire that goes over to the tailpiece. Um, we're going to call that good for today. I'm going to unsolder the neck pickup, uh, get the humbucker out, and put the, the other uh, death bucker in. Um, but that's whew, a lot of work. 
involved in, you know, a hollow body. Um, I, I don't know that this, <laughs> this, this is going to be a great upgrade for it. It might be. It's definitely going to be a different sound um, than what was in there. But, you know, the only thing the customer told me was those humbuckers suck. Well, I don't know what they are. They're, you know, they're I mean, I didn't run these numbers, but they're, they're offshore. I think maybe they source them from, you know, a, a standard place, but anything that's built in China, you got to kind of question it anyway. Um, these were probably built in China. You know, made in, well, let's just look. Let's just look before I end this video. Made in USA, death buckers. I don't know. Does that, does that mean they're better or worse? I, I don't know, but I know generally anything from offshore is going to be suspect. So we've got a lot of work here still to do. Now, I'm going to, I'm not going to show you, you know, I, I didn't really show you this one. I, I mean, I, I took one out, I put one in. I have another one, I have to put the neck one in. Um, and then the next video is going to be all the neat little fun that you have putting all this back up into the hollow body. It's Blackjack with 396 Guitars. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon. If you dig what I'm doing, like and subscribe.